All it is, Cliff Sandbox are a like bomby knocker draft though. Yeah. Their demolition crew, now, they're looking to cut things down. Know, and oh my goodness, the, the problem, classic win. Yeah, the problem with locking in this Cassante here is you allow Clear to have a fantastic matchup and solve the you know, some. I mean, like it's Kaisa, so you have some magic damage, right? But you get to now the Scuttle actually just just vacated. It was thinking about turning up here, <laughs> and instead, it's like, nah, I'm going topside. Return. Zayas, the veteran top laner now, going to get a plate. It's All over right. here. Finding some aggression as Gumiyushi does still have Featherstorm available. As he flashes, Kuma is finally going to use it, but he will get taken down. Teddy gets into the brush there as well, as Carrier is in trouble. And Leon is going to follow him. That is going to be the kill going over to the jungle. At two swift ones for Liv Sandbox exactly when they so need quite it. valuable for Liv Sandbox. As now they're going to commit. Yeah, Nature's Grass coming forward here as the ulti does come through. Teddy going to avoid it there relatively well. Teleport's coming in as Zayas turns up. Has a Q3 and Kyle says, I think I'm going to have to sacri sacrifice myself for this one. As, look at that, the Rift Scar. Faker is now still looking for a way out. Willa comes on through here as he does have Shifting Sands. He's placing down some Sand Soldiers. There's a flash, but he does get interrupted. And there is the Permafrost. Willa will lock down the kill. It's a solo in the end. As Closer, he was pretty fantastic tr for trying to secure these third Drake situations. It is just going to be the turret that will be eradicated. And now T1 pushing forward. Willa has to get this out of up because, I mean, this is just a really hard fight to take without your AD carry so far away, and they're rushing it down. I mean, Killer Instinct is a big deal. He can get there at a moment's notice if he does just get in range of that ulti, and now the Nature's Grasp comes through. That is going to be the Dragon secured, and oh, the Glacial Prison. Just this get a second. one going to add to it. I mean, this is what Faker brings to this team. You know, with Pobi here. Faker's Shifting Sands is going to be blocked. Willa doing a bit of an umpty impression here as Clear is going to fight Zayas, but it is not a fair one. The All Out does come through. Now some needlework finally being utilized as Zayas trying to get himself out of there. Gumiushi going to get sliced up. Let's see what Clear can actually do. There's the flash. Gets the snip snip as the Feather Storm does come through. Gumiushi now trying his hand, and he will be able to finish this one off as Liv Sandbox. They're doing better. You got two in the bottom lane. We're going to take this big old purple worm, and we'll see whether they can teleport from Zayas will get him in here as Kyle is just trying to be frustrating. Will is in the back of the pit, but it's Ona that takes away this Baron. Faker is taken low, but Kyle, I don't know whether you're going to be able to win out that 1v1 as now Teddy is just dead. And Liv Sandbox get catastrophically demolished. Zayas going to move in, and he is an absolute monster. The unfettered uh, Cassante. Just comes out of the top lane that he's been dominating and continues to do so as Teddy off to the side. See whether there is going to be engaged. Finally, Willa finds an ultimate, but still, it's not going to do anything at all. And this inhibitor will fall down. So and 50 it's super clear is uh, shining through. He's got 70 CS to lead. And look at the plays yeah. he's making. Two man Q going to come through here as Willa gets slowed down momentarily. We do have the miss down for the Gwen. That's going to keep her safe and sound as that's an ulti onto Faker. But he is just autoing with these Sand Soldiers. Kyle is very close to being stunned as Zayas dives forward and that is clear being taken out. There's an Empress Divide onto Kyle, but Faker just explodes and now Liv Sandbox may have an opportunity, but I don't think so. In goes Ona. Closer goes out though, does have the Jump available once again, as that is going to be the feathers flying, and that is a dead Willa. T1 now. Over here on the bottom side, is just trying to keep this Nexus turret alive, so another inhibitor will absolutely fall at the worst case scenario for T1. They get out of here. If Teddy decides to ult all these Infernal uh, Drake, an added uh, AP. Yeah, that, that like, helps. The, you know, the, the Maokai also doing a lot of AP damage here. His teleport's coming in. Maybe last fight of the game. Yeah, we're going to see whether Willa can get there. But he definitely cannot. There's the Nature's Grass. Willa's going to flash to try and get himself out. His closer is kind of free hitting. There's an Empress Divide, but it's only on to clear. Who dives forward? Snip, snip, everyone. That is going to be at least one of the kills, but it's only Faker that has fallen so far. Carrier limping away. There's Zayas. a big old Q. Riot, are you here? And uh, Zayas is going to be able to pick that one comfortably up. And Owner is just going to smash. Smash back clear. This is gorgeous play from T1 as they split the aggro beautifully. Carrier with the cute little steal away. That was and a shout out to again, Ox right there. Yeah, once again, it's <laughs> only Faker that falls. And Zayas going to teleport in, and that is going to be the end of the game. Oh, man. Zayas' performance on this Cassante, insane. He procs that. Gargoyle stone plate goes up into the thick of things, looks vulnerable. He says, uh uh uh. Gwen popping off in a team fight? I don't think so, not on my watch.
Level 17 in this game, 3-0 and 7. And absolutely, my vote for POG. T1 crushing this first game. Yeah, this was just obliteration. They will be able to take down the Nexus. No one will be stopped, except for Faker a couple of times in these team fights. But then he just gets to shock off for the rest of the team, and it is beautifully, beautifully played over and over again.